So now let's take a look at the algorithm. How does it work? Well, we just start with any W. You know? So you, you draw a hyperplane and it's uh, determined by this unit vector. There is no B because we go through the origin. Yeah? Now what we're going to do is we're going to evaluate evaluate each point. Yeah? And then we have two options. Actually we have three options. If it's correctly classified, you don't do anything. So there's three options. If correct, move to the next point. Yeah, you move to the next point. If not correct, for example, it is negative and it should be positive, then we're going to add W to X. And if it should be uh, negative and it is positive, then we're going to X minus W equals W nu. Yeah, that equals W nu. Okay. So in this case, let's take a look. X should actually be positive and it is in the negative class. So we're in this scenario here. Yeah. So what we need to do, we need to add X to W. We know how to add vectors. Okay, so that means that the new W, the new W is now going to be here. So that is the new W when I add X to W. We know that this new W is also perpendicular to the hyperplane. So if we want to draw a hyperplane, it's going to be this one. This is our second hyperplane. And in our second hyperplane, this is positive and this is negative. Yeah? So in the direction of W nu is positive, the other side is negative. And suddenly now your point is correctly classified. So in this you're gonna repeat them, huh? repeat till all the points are correctly classified. So repeat until all points are correctly classified. Okay? So this is the uh, perceptron algorithm. Now in 57 this created a lot of hype. Yeah? Um, suddenly uh, machines were going to take over the world again. Yeah? But about 10 years later all this optimism got a blow. And this is what we're going to see next.